Hello friends and foes and days and thems and he's and she's and people of all colors. Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we are on a big ass boat in uh, the English Harbor. Is that a thing? I don't know. I just made that up. But today we're going from England to France. Guys, I just found a map so you can actually see where I'm going to be going. So right now we're in Portsmouth and we're going southeast to Can. Can. Yeah. And then from there, I'll take my motorbike boom, just straight east. And that's the move. Land ho! Yes, folks, off there in the distance is mainland Europe, which might not seem like a big deal to you, but to me, it is, it is indicative of our journey and continuing. We made it to kind of a new continent. <laughs> I can't believe it. We made it to mainland Europe, guys. Congratulations. Let's get on our bike and ride in a new country. I've never been to France before. Let's see what it's like. Well, folks, welcome to Cannes or Cannes or I'm not really sure where we are, but we're in France. Look, French soil. There it is. French asphalt. We made it to the continent of Europe. It's about 11 o'clock right now. It's feeding time. I haven't eaten in many hours, so we're gonna explore the streets of Can or Cane or whatever and search for some cheap food. One slight problem is my Airbnb guy is not responding to me. He's not responding to me, and it's 11 p.m. So, um, if you've been if you've been with the channel for a while, you know I've had a few very bad check-in experiences with Airbnb, and um, hopefully this is not one of them. Uh, let's try to get some pizza. Well, they're closed. They are closed. Okay, I, this is open. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, yeah, it's open. I understand that. Bonjour. Uh, English? English? Speak English? Yeah, Oh, shit. Okay. Um... <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, poop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Step by step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rice. I got rice it. Yeah. Sauce. Fresh chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Thank you, bro. You're saving me. Thank. You. That was tough. We got a drink. We got all this food. We're gonna be fine. See you on See. YouTube. Thanks, man. Cheers. Yeah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Nice, friendly people. They helped me out. English isn't widely spoken here, but uh, we're making it work, guys. We're making it work. <laughs> guys, look, we made it out alive. Didn't speak a lick of French. Met some decent folks. Ate some chicken and mystery sauce. And now we're gonna go see if uh, we can check into the old B&B, guys. Just found it. It says the key is in a lockbox. Could this be it? There's no key. Shit. Is that it? No. What the fuck is that? Now I'm just fiddling with fuse boxes. <sighs> okay. I need to call this motherfucker. Bro. Oh yes, it's dialing. Oh sweet Jesus. Uh, hello, it's Connor. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Uh, hello. Hi, hi, hi. How are you doing? Good. You, Connor. Nice to meet you. Nice so, to meet you. Are you coming from the UK or? Yeah, UK, but oh, I'm Amer American. Ah, so you're from America. Uh -huh. Oh, that's great. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along for another one. We're officially in Europe. From this same landmass, we will ride all the way to Japan. Thanks for coming along. See you guys tomorrow.
Hello friends. Welcome to the American Cemetery at Omaha Beach. A place that commemorates D-Day. June 6, 1944, when the Allied forces captured, well, began the capture of Northern France from Nazi Germany. On that day, I think it was like 2,500 Americans died. And here is their final resting place. Very heavy place to be, but uh, it puts things all in perspective, honestly. Uh, it reminds me personally that we're living through history all the time and that a huge historical event happened here not long ago in the grand scheme of things. It was very recent that the world was a very different place. And seeing stuff like this reminds me that the world could be a very different place in the blink of an eye. You know, we could institute a draft. We could have another world war. We could have another pandemic. So for now, things are pretty good from my perspective. And uh, I'm very grateful to be here and to be at peace and to have a motorcycle and drive through a uh, mostly peaceful continent. Welcome to another day on a journey from Ireland to Japan. I'm trying to go all the way across two continents. And today we're starting in France in Normandy. It's on the west, northwest coast. And we're trying to go to Reims, France, which is, the GPS says six hours, but we all know it's gonna take 12. I was supposed to leave at uh, cheeky 9 a.m. And now it is noon, three hours late. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to have to call an audible and stop somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So uh, we're going to figure it out together, guys. I know for a fact that I have cheese and meat and I need to get some bread. So we're going to go to a bakery at some point. So uh, anyways, here we go. Bikes all packed up. Let's hit it. Woo! Welcome to my head cam, people. I'm a professional now. <laughs> Wow, all right, this is cool. I'm gonna get to show you guys the POV, how we get there. I'm gonna show you that I am a good driver. I'm responsible, see? Ha ha. It's not all fake, guys. I don't have a camera crew fucking hauling my bike places just to appear like I actually rode myself. No, no, no. Daddy's in the driver's seat. I think it's funny how in France the stop signs actually say stop. They're like, hey, stupid American, stop your damn vehicle. Oh, man. What a lovely day for a ride. Dear God. My goodness. All right, well, we're stopped at this bridge. I guess there's letting a boat pass or something. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to go investigate. I see a motorcyclist up there. So we're going to go chat with him. Let's see if he parlez-vous anglais. Let's see if he speaks English. And see, as a motorcyclist, you can do what you want, kids. You can ride on the opposite side of the road. You make the rules as a motorcyclist. Always remember that, kids. say to these guys. Well, all right. <laughs> I really wanted to say something, but I froze up, bro. That shit is real. Social anxiety is real, bro. It's when you're traveling, especially when you don't know the language. I don't plan on being in France for long, so I literally didn't learn jack shit in French. I just learned like bonjour and like merci and fucking parlez-vous anglais. And that's it, bro. I think I've gotten like spoiled uh, being in the UK, the British Isles, Ireland for so long. The US, obviously, and, and 
and Spanish speaking countries as well. I've just gotten used to like being able to communicate with people and like, oh yeah, traveling's easy. It's, you know, but damn bro. To be fair, like I, I didn't even try with those guys. I just, I don't know, I just froze, man, you know, so. That shit's real. It's not like I'm just some fucking social butterfly all the time. It's um, definitely getting nervous. And uh, yeah, it's been about four years since I've been in a country where I don't speak the language. Uh, last time I was in Japan. And uh, yeah, you know, I figured that out. I mean, I'll figure it out, bro. I've only been in France for like two days, so I ain't too worried about it. But then we got Germany and fucking Czechia and Poland and all those other countries to look forward to where English is less common. I <laughs> uh, will figure it out, man. We always do, don't we? All right, peeps, time for a fruit break underneath this tree. It's fucking gorgeous out here. Super grateful to be out here, man. Oh, that was a nice little snack break underneath these trees here. Gorgeous, man, gorgeous. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so I was doing some Googling. Yes, yes, I know you're disappointed in me. I, uh, I caved, guys. I got on Google and I researched where I am. I actually learned something like a fucking chump, I know. But, um, oh, what is this? Don't know what that means. Don't speak the language. I'm gonna just continue. Uh, I was doing some Googling, guys, and it looks like I'm not looking for a patisserie. I'm looking for a, oh shit, that I already forget how to say it. It's like boula, boulangerie, I think. Boulangerie, something like that. Lingerie? I don't know. Boulangerie? Whatever. But that's the, uh, that's French for baker. It's like a special baker. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. Don't listen to me. I'm just looking for some bread. Is this a closed road? <laughs> I'm just looking for some bread. I'm looking for a boulangerie. Okay. Bonjour. Oh, nice. Parlez-vous <laughs> anglais? No, no, it's okay, it's okay. Um, pan por, pan por un sandwich. Yes, just the bread. Mm -hmm, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, bro. I got this big loaf of bread. It was like a buck twenty-five, and they say France is expensive. Usually not a bread guy. I'm a bread guy now. Big bread guy. It's yeasty, a little sour. It's got a crunch. Rubbery texture. God damn, that's good. Wow, a buck twenty-five. All right, I just made a little sandwich here with the bread. I got some mystery meats. I think it is pork or salami or something. I can't read the French. It says pave au. I don't know what the fuck it is. Some mystery meat and this cheese here. It's actually so soft because it's been sitting in my motorcycle all day that I can cut it with a spoon. Yeah, look at that, French cheese. I think this is like sandwich number 30 or something ridiculous. I'm not proud of myself, although I slightly am. Feel terrible. I just had an entire loaf of bread, an entire thing of meat, and most of a container of cheese. Sandwich number 30. This one's for France. All right, I'm gonna let this food settle and then we're gonna hit the road. We're not getting to Reims today. It's, I've been on the road for like four and a half hours. But as far as like GPS hours go, it's only two hours out of the six. So, uh, I don't know. We're gonna get as far as we can today. Back on the way to Reims. Just kidding, we are not going to Reims anymore. 
it's about uh, eight hours away at the current pace I've been on. Eight hours, and it's 5.30, so we're not doing that. I found a town in between. It's called Bellevue, or I, I don't know how to say these French words. I'm not going to pretend like I do. It starts with a B. That's all I know. When it comes to planning, I uh, am a bit too ambitious. So we're going to uh, whatever the fuck. <sighs> Say goodbye to uh, wherever the fuck we are. Beautiful little town. Nice bread. And honestly, bro, I mean, look around at us. I mean, look around us, man. Like, France is a beautiful country. The architecture, the weather today, I don't know how it is normally. Um, just a quaint, full of quaint little villages, isn't it? And affordable. Dude, that lunch we had was like eight euros in total. And bro, I ate for like two people. Oh shit, I just took a wrong turn. Yeah, eight, eight euros, bro. Eight euros. And I am like full. I don't, probably won't eat for the rest of the day. Just kidding. I will definitely eat when I get to wherever I'm going. Dude, when we were sitting at the, um, at that bench over there eating our little sandwiches, I sent out like 10 couch serving requests in Paris just to see, just to throw some fucking pain at the wall. What's the saying? I don't know. Just to see if I could stay in Paris. And it turns out I can. Someone responded to me and they're gonna let me stay on their couch for free tonight in Paris. Okay. I never thought I would go to Paris. It's too expensive for me. The hostels were like $80 a night for a dorm. That's right, a dorm. But no, alas, we will get a free room in Paris. Let's hit it. <laughs> Bro, it's another hay field, guys. Look at all the wheat or whatever the hell this is. Wow. How lucky are we? It's the thousandth hay field of today. Wow, I've seen so many hay fields today. I think I'm going to go insane. <laughs> First three or four were kind of lit, and now it's uh, just the same thing all day. <laughs> Damn, what is wrong with me today? God damn, why can I not drive today? What is going on? So, uh, oh, this feels dodgy. Oh, he just got down peeing in the corner. I don't think I saw him. <laughs> nice. Not leaving my bike in this neighborhood. That's for damn sure. They love their bikes in France. I've seen so many bikers on the road. Look at that guy. He just fucking went out in the middle of the intersection. No fucks given. And they say motorcycles are dangerous. Wait. Why the fuck did my bike just die? What the fuck, bro? That's not cool. What the fuck? That was mad weird. Just made it to uh, the couch surf's place. And uh, it's very hot. I just had to carry all my shit through the streets of Paris and I finally found it. It's quite the workout. Yeah. Alright people. Thank you. I've checked in, so to speak, to my couch surf. My friend Naomi here is gonna show me around Paris. She's letting me stay for free. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you. Where are we going right now? Uh, we're going to uh, some neighborhood called the Jules Rostar, and we'll just get some drinking. Nice. Sick. Okay. A night out in Paris. It's Saturday, by the way. Okay. Nice. It's good. I have a French speaker with me. He can help me out. <laughs> I'm not going to die in these streets. <laughs> 
All right, peeps, we're climbing up a hill right now, going to look at the Eiffel Tower. Francesco here, yeah. Naomi's boyfriend, and Naomi are leading me to the promised land. They're indulging my tourist habits. <laughs> Had to see the Eiffel Tower, I'm only here for one day. What's this place we're going to called? Mumat. Mumat. Good pronunciation, right? Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> Man, one thing I appreciate about these European towns is the cobblestone, the beautiful architecture, the attention to detail. How's it trying to? Not anything like this. Yeah. It got burned down in the 1800s and it's all like really? new, yeah. Yeah, Civil War. Bit of a misunderstanding. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay, local tour guides, give me give me some give me some facts about the church. <laughs> okay, that's, give me okay. some facts. That's where I can raise my hands, I can let I can uh, let the locals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Oh fair enough, yeah, yeah. No worries. It's beautiful though. <laughs> This is why you don't do your research before you go to places. Don't do your research. I'm here telling you, I didn't know this place existed until 30 seconds ago. I thought we were gonna look at the Eiffel Tower and there's a 200 year old church behind me. Just blown away, surprised, amazing. Okay, we just posted up here. We're on a sump fence and we're waiting for the Eiffel Tower to light up at midnight. So romantic with Francesco, so romantic. Kiss me, Francesco. Yeah, kiss me. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Amazing. Now I feel like I'm really in Paris. The Eiffel Tower. Beautiful. All right, peeps. That's it for today. Naomi has kindly made me a bed for the night. Not charging me any rent, staying here for free. In one of the most expensive cities on the planet. So very grateful for people like Naomi on couch surfing. I'm very tired, guys. It was a hell of a day. We drove all day through the French countryside and had a great one. Enjoyed some bread, enjoyed some meat, enjoyed some cheese, enjoyed the Eiffel Tower. What more can you ask for? Um, I will see you guys in a few days. I'm gonna continue east. Um, I don't know where we're gonna pick back up, but I'll see you soon. Peace. Oh. Free bed. Good night. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. All right, I don't know <laughs> how successful this is gonna be. It's the first ride with the Moto Vlog setup. Oh, oh shit. I'm a fucking idiot. I just tried to ride away without putting my fucking lock on. Fucking A. Great start, Connor. Great start to your moto vlogging career. And then my fucking bag is open. I was just gonna leave my bag open. Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright. Let's take a deep breath. Alright. Now the neighbors think you're stealing. A motorcycle. Great.